Hello again and welcome to video tutorial number three. My name is Eamon Killian and I have been making a short series of videos, snappy videos hopefully, uh, less than 10 minutes long, on how to get started using softlayer.com. Uh, the reason behind this is I work with uh, managed service providers and cloud companies and some web developers and they've often said to me, look, how do we get started using software? How do we leverage it the best way? How can we improve our services through either a hybrid or indeed a migration wholesale into leveraging uh, the infrastructure as a service capabilities of software as our back end? So instead of me going around explaining it time and time again, I thought, you know what, I'll make a series of videos that'll show how to get started with it and how to use it. In video one, we covered registering and getting set up on software. Um, this was a very short introduction um, on how to do it. Um, on video tutorial two, we actually covered logging into the customer portal for the first time, a brief look at the customer portal and then actually logging in remote shelling using a you know i'm on a mac here uh, a mac terminal to secure shell in as root remotely and log on to the virtual server that we asked uh, software to provide and that's all fine so we're at a point now for tutorial number three where it's nice to have a, an empty centos 6.5 minimal install with nothing on there at all um, but it's not very usable so we need to start doing something with that server and I thought what better way to show this other than uh, let's create a small website let's uh, let's just actually put an Apache web server on there which is the most common thing I guess people do in the web is create websites and let's look at how you do that using software so we go to the portal and we'll actually log in You won't need to do this every time because you're just, you know, we're just doing this so we can remote shell in in a minute to the uh, virtual machine itself. So from the portal, the reason I've done it this way this time is we want to go and look at our devices. And we can see here, there it is, Sassify 1, that's what we created, and there's its public IP address, 159.8.14.162. So if I go up to Google here and I go 159. 8, 14, 1, 6, 2. Chrome shows us that there's nothing there. There's no website that will actually serve back a page. So what we want to do is go to this server and actually start a HTTPD server on there. Um, to do that, we're going to need to actually gain access to the machine. So we'll open up a Mac terminal we'll secure shell into the actual machine 159.8.14.162 I've already hopefully saved the password in my cache and I have so we're in we're on the server the first thing we want to do is do a yum update now I've already done an update so there's nothing for me to update if this is the first time you'll have logged in to an actual virtual machine uh, it will have several packages that will need updating. Takes about, you know, 20 maybe 30 seconds. Uh, in our instance, it'll check and say no packages are marked for an update, which is fine. So that's where you will be at the end of looking at your server and doing a YOM update. Now we want to install an actual Apache server. So very simply, YOM um, install HTTPD. And that's it, just say, yes, done. It's that easy. Our Apache web server is now installed on our CentOS image. Uh, to start it, because of course we won't have the actual service up yet, in fact I can show you that even though it's installed, there's nothing there yet. So just go back to our terminal. Service, um, HTTP start. I've started it now, so if I go back again and do a refresh, there we go. 
it served back to us the Apache test page. So where do I actually put my files? Now, if you've never used Linux before, and I'm, I'm sure most of you have, um, in var www.html, this is where you will put your web files. You can change this in the configurations, but for simplicity, let's say you're using a standard install, that's where you'll put them. So if I now use the VI editor in um, Linux, I can VI index.html and create a very simple web page um, and let's see what happens there it is so we have now successfully installed a, an Apache web server running on a virtual machine called Sassify in softlayer.com in minutes. I hope this is useful. You could now move any number of files in there that you've developed for your website um, and lay them out in there so long as index.html exists or you've changed the configuration file to aim it at something else then it will start delivering and serving all of your web pages and you can build up your web presence. I hope this was useful. My name's Eamon Killian and thank you very much for watching this video.